Let's talk some Cavs now again as tonight is game three of the playoffs as they take on the New York Knicks. And for the last couple of seasons, with each win, we've seen a Cavs player or member of the coaching staff receive the junkyard dog chain. It goes to whoever showed the most grit, intensity, and scrappiness. And it has been fun to watch, no question about it. And now that we're into the postseason, the energy is stepped up and the necklace game is stepped up too. And I am now joined by Chris Kaiser, Cavs Chief Marketing Officer, and Dan Hines from the Foundry at Jared. And there is a new version of the Junkyard Dog Chain just in time for the playoffs. Guys, thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for having Appreciate us. How having pumped us. up are we about what's happening right now with this Cavaliers team? I mean, you can really feel the energy in the city right now. Absolutely. Now we are we're fired up, and I think uh, you know it's it called for a new junkyard dog chain to, to be introduced. So uh, I think you saw that on Darius after after the first win in Game Two, and you know we're obviously we have the the OG dog chain is what we're calling it right now that's sitting on the table, but but we're excited to, to go into playoffs. Yeah, let's get a shot of this if we can. This is the original chain, right? It goes back to the 2021 season, I believe. Yep. It was so it was awarded about midway through 2021 or uh, 21, 22 season, to, uh, and I think Isaac Okoro was the first one to get this, but it was the brainchild of J.B. Bickerstaff. Um, you know, goes to the player that shows the most intensity, scrap mentality. You know, whoever has the biggest impact on winning, not necessarily the player that you know gets the most points or some of the gaudier statistics, just something that fits into you know the overall team mentality. Yeah, that scrap mentality, kind of like the Cavs felt like they were underdogs, right? So then, hence you have the junkyard dog. One hundred percent. Yep. And, and talk about the new chain now. What, what's different about the the second one here that we have? Yeah. So the, the the second one is you know it's for the playoffs again everything's bigger the play on the court's bigger the atmosphere at the field house is more intense so we wanted something to fit that that energy and um, you know hopefully we can hand that thing out 15 more times uh, during the playoffs here I know we saw the first uh, you know the first iteration of it go to Darius the other night in our big win at home um, but I do want to touch on from a Jared perspective yes. too you know this idea came from JB Bickerstaff and this new this new piece um, you know they just this program they have called the Foundry. I'll let Dan speak to it. I'm not a jeweler, but um, no, they please. came to us and it was just a fantastic opportunity. They they had the this idea and this vision, and we were able to bring it to reality. So we love the opportunity and we're up for the challenge. So we were the creators of the original chain, and we work with the team. And then they came to us with the playoffs, and we said, you know, we were up for that too. So we love being able to create something that uh, really has become a part of their culture. And the Foundry is a, is a wonderful opportunity where we can bring any custom jewelry vision to reality with all of our custom artisans. So. What is it that we see on the chain exactly? So we have, so on this particular chain, like this has the kind of the five values that the JB, um, you know, harps on to the team and has built a culture around. Um, and that's the big, the whole piece of this is that this fits so well into the culture because if you see the players, they actually get more excited for sure. the player that's going to win it and they try to anticipate it. And when JB awards it, they all lose their minds and they all, you know, they all <laughs> celebrate around him and take, take the photo and you see that, you know, all the hype that comes through social media on that. But that's, that's kind of why it, it kind of fits into the general camaraderie and, you know, how they, how they all root for each other and what JB and Kobe have built. That was going to be my next question. This has been become a big thing on social media. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So it's been amazing. It's kind of blown up and, and that's, you know, part of, you've seen a lot of teams around the league emulate it. Um, I think the Sacramento Kings are one that's, that's gotten some attention around it as well, but we did it a little bit, a little bit higher quality in terms of the, uh, <laughs> just a little bit, chain just a little bit, right? um, you know, but yeah, so it's, there's been a lot of copycat uh, teams around the league just because how, how much the players love it and the coaching staff loves it. Yeah. And fans can get their own version of the junkyard dog. Is that, so we do, we have, we have them for sale on, on CavsTeamShop.com or uh, Cavs.com backslash shop. Uh, either way you can get there, but we, we are selling kind of a replica version of it. We're not going to say it's, uh, it's not an exact, you know, you know, version of this, I'll say a much, much cheaper <laughs> version, but, um, but fans have really rallied around it and we see them walking around the, the concourse with, uh, with it on game day. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Go Cavs. And uh, I'd like to walk away with that, but I think I'd get in a little trouble with the security, <laughs> certainly. But uh, all right, guys, thanks again. Go Cavs tonight against the Knicks. We'll be right back after this timeout.